Polite ways to express dislikes. Practice makes perfect. Hello there, language learners. Welcome to our exciting journey into the English language. In this lesson, we'll be focusing on expressing dislikes politely using adjectives and adverbs. Remember, it's not just what you say, but how you say it that matters. Before we dive into the exercises, let's quickly review. Expressing dislikes politely is all about softening our language. For example, instead of saying, I hate spinach, a more polite way might be, I'm not really a fan of spinach. Here, not really a fan of, is a polite way to express dislike. When expressing polite dislikes, adjectives and adverbs can be your best friends. They can help you show respect and consideration. For instance, instead of saying, I don't like loud music, you can say, I prefer quieter music. See how the adjective quieter makes your statement less harsh. Now, let's get into some practice. I'll provide a statement, and your task is to convert it into a more polite expression of dislike. Let's go. 1. I hate waking up early. 2. I can't stand cold weather. 3. I don't like crowded places. Take your time and try to come up with polite versions of these. Use adjectives and adverbs to soften the language. Pause. Here are possible responses. 1. I'm not really a morning person. 2. I prefer warmer weather. 3. I'm not so fond of crowded places. Let's try a few more. 1. I dislike long meetings. 2. I hate traffic. 3. I can't stand slow internet. Pause. And here are the polite versions. 1. I prefer shorter meetings. 2. I'm not a big fan of traffic. 3. I prefer a faster internet connection. See how using adjectives and adverbs along with softer phrases can help you express your dislikes more politely. And that's a wrap for today's lesson. I hope this has been helpful in teaching you how to express dislikes politely in English. Remember, practice makes perfect. Try to incorporate these expressions in your daily conversations. Until next time, happy learning!